All right, folks, who does not like roast chicken? Charcoal chicken, to be specific. We're doing a little spun bird on the jotisserie, about 1.8 kilos, trying out a new rub. Haven't done much pre-seasoning, haven't really done much preparation at all, but, uh, you know, this is a quick and easy cook. We're going to be cooking a little bit hot and fast, still over the coals, still all those classic flavours, still in a ceramic cooker. I'm going to mainly show you some techniques on uh, how to do this a little bit easier and how I like to set up the grill. So I hope you enjoy. So one little tip that I like to, uh, to give people setting up your rotisserie a little bit easier is we want to get the, the meat positioned centrally uh, in, on the forks there. So what I got here is my uh, bird on the rack here. I'm going to put it onto the spike inside but I just want to roughly eyeball it here to make sure that I've got mainly this spike here which is going to get locked in hard while the chicken gets placed on the point end uh, is in the right place to make sure that bird's nice and central. So now that I'm pretty happy with that, um, we're just going to start going through the rest of the process. First things first, we need to get some coals lit. Got about three quarters of a chimney of uh, large lump charcoal. We're going to be cooking this pretty hot and fast. Now, here's a nice little tip. Tight ass fire lighters. These are uh, a couple of pieces of paper towel scrunched up each and uh, soaked in a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm out of my usual lovely uh, natural compressed wood fire starters, so this is how I'm going to start my coals today. So I've let those just sort of soak in the oil for about five minutes. Just going to light them on fire. They burn pretty hot and fast, pretty intense, and do a good job. Uh, if you're out of fire lighters. So a little bit on coal placement. I've mainly emptied out this firebox and you know we're, we're cooking pretty hot and fast. We're going to be mainly using the lit coals that we get started in that chimney for this cook. So we're not really going to need a lot of extra coals to sort of get lit but I've put a few in there just in case it takes a bit longer. Um, but at the end of the day you could probably just put the lit coals in there. I had to clean out the firebox quite nice. Uh, made sure it was you know a little bit cleaner than after my last cook which was some pork butts um, put in here just to heat up as we're going along a little chunk of natural smoke uh, nectarine wood which is uh, a light flavored smoke uh, fruit wood goes really well with white meat like chicken and pork so just going to add a little bit of smoke um, not only is that going to flavor the meat but uh, the, the chemicals released during the, the, uh, the burning of some actual natural wood as opposed to the, just the charcoal is going to help get us a nice bit of colour and crispiness to the skin of the chicken. So it's going to let those coals heat up and now we're going to go in and season our bird. Okay, so chicken straight out of the packet, cavity's pretty empty. Uh, everything's pretty clean. I haven't really had to do anything, so it's just a matter of going through that just that natural hole in the center of the bird um, and then making sure that you get the chicken roughly fairly center to your spike here. So this is our starting spike that we put in place, so it was roughly going to be center to begin with. Uh, and then we're just going to maneuver this back spike here uh, and this one just to try and sort of keep uh, the chicken as evenly proportioned as possible on this rotisserie. Now once we've sort of got that in place and you know it's got a bit of a grab on the on the chook here, it doesn't actually have to necessarily uh, hook into the chicken skin or, or anything like that, but um, you know it should stay on there pretty tight just from this sort of positive pressure that we're putting on it from behind here. So I'll uh, tighten that screw up there, tuck some of that skin back in. Now I'm only going to do two things here just to make sure that our chicken cooks a little bit more evenly. I'm going to tuck the wings back. Um, now if you don't do this they can get a little bit uh, crispy because they'll sort of hang down. Sometimes you need to sort of crack that bone a little bit to sort of tuck them in. If you can get them in there under the spike even better. Some people will tie those up but I'm not 100% fussed about that. And then the last thing I'll do is just put a little bit of twine around these legs here. So if you sort of go around them in a bit of a figure eight pattern, pull them together and then what I like to do with this string is go once and then try and go for a second and maybe even a third knot there. Sorry, obviously this isn't really that well zoomed in. 
Um, but you give it two or three knots and then the string gets to grip on itself. So once we've sort of got that uh, on there like that, we'll tighten, cinch up that knot. It should pretty much grip on itself. And then we'll put a double knot in it and then trim that string off. Uh, if you don't do that, your legs are sort of just gonna flip around a little bit. If you can see here now, I'm sort of giving it a pretty good shake. Those legs might fall down a little bit, but they're not going to splay out and open up that chicken uh, to make it looking a little bit less presentable. So um, next step is we're gonna season it up. Now today we've used this uh, Lane's Pitmasters Elite Blackening Seasoning. Now I'm excited to use this for a couple of reasons. Number one ingredient, smoked paprika, and I can already really smell that lovely smoky flavour coming through. Um, but paprika is also going to do a great job of uh, colouring up that chicken skin. Onion powder, salt, pepper, thyme, uh, all the, the classics, oregano and a bit of cayenne for a little bit of extra kick. I like to season this bird over the... Uh, over the sink and you know with the rotisserie spike here you can just rotate it as you go try and get that coverage on there nice and even as possible uh, we're just going to let that sweat for a little bit while our uh, coals heat up and then we're going to throw it on all right coals are nice and lit so just going to lift our starter up here doopa 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 doo. yeah. in. now we're going to play around with these just a little bit so just give me a sec back. Now we want some coals directly under where the chicken's going to be because we want those juices to just sort of drip down, vaporize, flavorize, do all the really good things but yeah if we have too much heat directly under the chicken it's just going to burn it. So just using my tongs um, I'll get a little bit of wood here that's just going to warm up there, a bit of ambient heat. I'm going to shut the lid. So we've got a lot of lit coals, but we want to make them last for about an hour. So we're just going to oh, probably yeah, tighten that off to about 40 millimetres. Top vent fully open, not fast about that one. Let's get some airflow in there and we'll give it about a couple of minutes to get up to temp. We really want to be sitting at that... Uh, Probably 2, 220 Celsius, uh, 450 um, Fahrenheit mark, uh, real good roasting temperature. Um, and you've got to remember is that that hood temperature is always just a little bit higher than the, uh, than the surface where we're actually cooking our, uh, our meat in these KJs. So yeah, going to be a fair bit of ambient heat, but yeah, just going to let that come up nicely. Also probably worth noting, um, just in the past I've said start your fire in the KJ, not in a chimney starter. That's generally for slow cooks, okay? So we're actually cooking pretty hot and fast today. Um, and I just want a lot of lit coals in there straight away. So starting the fire in the uh, KJ is a bit slow and laborious. Uh, it pays off for doing those long, low and slow cooks. But in this case, we just want lit coals and we want to be cooking our chicken straight away. So just throwing those in there, um, hot as AF. All right, so grill's up to temp. Got my chicken here. And we're just gonna slot that in to our jotisserie attachment. Um, so we got that nice and centered there. Looking good. Get our tongs. And I'm gonna just grab that bit of smoking wood and put it on the nice hot coals. Um, before we start, better get that rotor turning. Turn on the motor, and off she goes. Okay, so we just checked in at the 40 minute mark. It's going a little bit slower than expected. Still got some ultra hot coals there. About 115 Fahrenheit for the uh, internal temperature of the breast at the moment. So we'll give that about another, oh, I don't know, 25, uh, and then we'll check in again. Okay, been about another 20 minutes, so just a bit over an hour full cook time. Just checked it, 
and it is coming along beautifully. So I'm actually going to take this off. We've reached 155 internal. Um, going to just let it rest to get up to 160 and we're good. You can see why they call the seasoning the blackening because it has crusted up and just has that beautiful brown my yard reaction color all that flavor the smoked paprika it just smells delicious so yeah i'm gonna take that off and let it rest for about half an hour okay so let it rest for half an hour i've sliced it up uh not quite confident enough to do that slicing up on the uh on the camera but i just used a pair of my uh good old-fashioned poultry shears here uh, chopped into a half here, so we've got a half, a half chicken there, and then I've just sort of, um, you know, quartered the rest of it. I'm um, going to do a little taste test. Let's try some of that skin. Mmm. Real smoky flavour. And um, a little bit of spice, getting a bit of that cayenne there. It's really nice. Drumstick. Absolutely love a good drummy. Let's give that a go. Mmm, really moist, um, definitely get that charcoal, um, super happy with that result. So as you can see, this was a um, pretty quick cook, about an hour cook time, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes prep time, and that is including while you're waiting for the coals to get going. So, you know, rotisserie chicken, it's an absolute ripper, great flavour, intense flavours. Uh, using some good rubs and good smoke, you can really do something a little bit different to the, you know, the typical mum's roast chicken that she would have done in the oven. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe our channel to uh, help us create more content. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you.